Spencer. I know we haven't known each other long and you were very mean to me when we first met. You gave me a lot of stress, but I'm not someone who holds grudges and I want us to be friends in a way where we don't have to see each other anymore. I just want this to be an amicable split. No hard feelings. In the last minute Stop the clock and try to wake up Behind your eyelids a dream was lost Lost again Away. Yeah, he's gone, but I don't know where he's gone now, so I'm oh, I'm also gonna fucking I'm gonna run to it. <laughs> Look, I'm really glad that we gave Spencer a nice send-off. And um, he's on to live a much happier life than what he was doing in my bedroom. I guess he just got a bit lost, he got a bit scared, he thought he would scare everyone in the house. The reason there was that slightly odd setup with the cup and the um, and the book and the sellotape. We were too scared to try and put him in a tupperware. It was too hard. It was too hard. He could have jumped out at any point and yeah. killed us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Because he'll just drop him. Okay, what if he doesn't? Okay, you ready? He will, he will, he will. No, no. Yeah. Oh, stop, stop. <laughs> He's not gonna drop. He's not gonna drop. <laughs> oh no! That's when they're like about to like bite, they do that. I feel sick. What's happened to his leg? Can we give it a second? Give him a second to relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so stressful. I'm just thinking how we're gonna do this. Are you gonna do it like this? Should I get a big box? I don't think the box size is the issue. It's just the transferring process. So we decided so... just to just to strap him down for safety and to take him as is. And now he's free. Now he's free and we can go on and live a happy Tuesday. Good morning, by the way, morning. everybody. Happy Tuesday. This is Diana. Happy Tuesday, hello. I have actually been editing. Uh, oh, editing all morning. Diana, do you want to say why why you're here? Other than helping me with So the... I'm here because Christian is helping me to make a video for the local hospital um, for women who are undergoing prolapse surgery and what information they need. Uh, I feel like we should say at this point, that. Deanna is a medical student. Yeah, forgot to mention <laughs> She's that She's not part. doing it for fun. It's not for fun. So I'm a medical student and this is my elective and I have to make this information video. So Christiane has kindly given me her video expertise services to help me make this video because I would have no clue. I find it. it outrageous that you as a medical student have been given the task of creating an instructional video for the NHS website and they're not even paying you. But I was saying to Christiane that that's just for CVs, you know. That blows my mind. Just makes you. Uh, it blows they know. My mind they know that, that you will benefit from it in a CV format. But Deanna's payment quite to me is helping me with yeah. the, uh, the, with release the spider release. Spencer. That's what she said this morning. Yeah, I said you can come around if you help me do this one thing. Today I'm eating my lunch at 11 a.m. because I'm hungry. I always say that I eat very intuitively. I just eat when I'm hungry. And so that often means that I don't have breakfast at all because I'm never hungry when I wake up. But then I'll have like quite an early lunch. That's generally what tends to happen. And today I'm having glorious super suits, Tuscan chicken, tomato and grains. This has been in the fridge for absolutely ages. I bought it a while ago and it's almost out of date. So I thought, well, yeah, I should probably have that one today. pot is only 111 calories. That's fine, I can have the whole pot. Okay, walking into the office. Oops. Hello. <laughs> the bedroom Welcome office. The office. Got another chair so that uh, so that Deanna can we can work together. Two-way desk. It is a two-way desk. 
this is kind of why I wanted it like this, so I could have guests mm -hmm. and meetings. Not that meetings. I really, not that I ever really have meetings. Right, I have a headache. We've just been sitting at the computer doing the, the prolapse uh, surgery video for a long time. Well, it's been about an hour, but it, it seems like a long time. But I did nothing and Christian did everything. <laughs> We're going to reward ourselves for all this hard work, all my hard work. How are we rewarding ourselves? We're gonna do the Call Me Maybe Squat Challenge. Mm. Just warm up those quads. That's all. I used to know all of her words. <laughs> oh, it hurts already. in her pelvis. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's yeah, isn't this good? Yeah. Some, that? That's the DJI Osmo Pocket. Oh. Whenever I use this camera, I've only just backed it out right now, oh. everyone is always like, what is that? Hello, little friend. I am going to do a review on this camera as a vlogging camera at some point. Mm. But are your legs like feeling like jelly right now? Yeah, they feel And I used to be able to do that with a weight and so did you. So we used to be so good at that. We used to be good. I'm just walking with Deanna into town because she's getting picked up from town and I need another excuse to get out the house because, as you saw, I did not leave the house yesterday at all. And that's not very good. Righty ho. I am back from town. I feel very good having just done that walk and now I've got one more thing like just kind of left on my to-do list. It's six o'clock right now. And that is to plan and make the presentation for the talk that I am doing on the weekend. So if you don't know, there is a conference happening this weekend, well, Friday and Saturday, called Borderless Live in London, uh, organized by Traverse Events. But it's a conference festival hybrid type situation. And basically there's just gonna be parties, talks, workshops, sessions, all geared towards people who are interested in travel blogging, travel vlogging, uh, being a travel photographer, basically an influencer in the travel community. And I'm really looking forward to it. A little bit stressed that I need to finish off my talk right now. My talk's gonna be on travel vlogging for beginners. So I just wanted to mention in this vlog, if you are interested in coming, I will link the Borderless Live website below and you can still get tickets. Tickets still are available for the Friday and the Saturday. I am going to be speaking on the Saturday. I'm also gonna be on a panel on Friday morning. But yeah, if you have any interest in getting involved in travel vlogging, vlogging, you wanna know more, or you wanna know about working with brands, how to do it as a job, this is honestly a really, really valuable and useful experience that you can come to. So yes, I'm now gonna do my keynote presentation because the deadline is tomorrow and I'm really good at leaving things until the last minute. But I'm hoping it's not gonna take me too long because I already know what I'm saying it's just a case of putting it into a presentation. As promised, I'm going to answer my three questions of the day. Thank you so much for sending in all of your questions. I am actually overwhelmed by how many there were. And I wanted to kind of wait until the end of the day to answer them, just to give people a chance to watch the video as I did post it at 9 a.m. this morning. And as for tomorrow's three questions, do you know what would be really helpful to me? Leave your questions again in the comments down below. And if you can have a look at other people's questions, and if you like it and you really want me to answer that particular question, to give it a thumbs up because that'll give me a really good idea of what you guys really, really wanna know. All right, so the first question from Sophie. Cack it. I love how you were scared of a British spider in your room when most British spiders are harmless, yet you go to Australia all the time, which is known for having loads of deadly spiders and other deadly animals, haha. -ha. How do you cope with all of the deadly spiders when you're in Australia? Very good question. I wouldn't say I have a phobia of spiders, but I do have a strong dislike towards them. I think the reason why I was so scared about this British one is I, I knew it wasn't poisonous. I think I'm just mostly scared of a spider like 
crawling over my face and my imagination lets me believe that that's going to happen and since this spider was in my bedroom and if I didn't have eyes on it and wasn't in control of the situation then I'm completely out of control of the situation. I've never seen a deadly spider in a home situation in Australia. I've seen them out in the forest and to me that's completely fine because it's not in my home space. I think if I saw a deadly spider in a home environment in Australia then yes I'd probably be very very scared as well. Crepid asks I know you already said you hate wasting time, but what's your daily motivation slash drive to get things done? Is there a milestone you're currently aiming for? And if so, what is it? I just always have lists. I've got my bucket list and I'm always planning of how I can get around ways of financing going to the places that I want to go. And the good thing about having a YouTube channel is I always have something to do. So I have like an upload schedule, just it's like a Google sheet on my computer where every video idea that comes into my head, I just write it down onto this upload schedule. And from there I can rearrange into what order I want to upload. And I'll set like the date that I want to have it uploaded. Honestly, I very rarely properly stick to this because I get distracted very easily and things come up and I'm not able to reach that target. There is literally never a day goes by where I don't know what to do or have nothing to do. Like that just doesn't happen. And I think YouTube is a big part of that. And I think that really gives me a purpose, to be honest. Um, and I love making videos and I love obviously getting feedback from you guys. And when I get messages saying things like, you've convinced me to go on a solo trip or I'm going traveling for the first time because of you, like those comments, you have no idea. They literally make me because that is exactly why I make the videos. And I started this channel in the first place because other people were making videos that were making me feel like that. And I thought, this is just amazing. I want to inspire people to do the same. And the final question, I've just grabbed a wine, is from Wendy Baxter, who says, hi, as a much older fan, wish I had backpacked when I was younger. Can you see yourself ever settling down with a partner and kids? Love the daily blog. Thank you for your question, Wendy. Yes, a hundred percent. That is like all I want in life is to have kids and a stable family network, preferably settled somewhere. I can really imagine when I have younger kids that I'll still be traveling a fair bit. To be fair, I think even when the kids are older, I'm sure we'll still always be traveling. It, it depends on who my partner will be and what they do and just how things are at the time. But no, a hundred percent, I definitely want kids and I absolutely cannot wait to have children. Please leave your questions for tomorrow's video in the comments down below and like I said before, have a look at these questions, give it a thumbs up if it's a question that you really want me to answer and hopefully tomorrow I will answer some good questions as well. Righty ho! I finished. As you can probably tell, the sun has somewhat gone down. It's like 10 to eight, but I've finished my presentation. So now before the weekend, it will just be a case of practicing it lots of times, practice presenting so that I'm as well prepared as possible. But I'm really pleased that I've got that finished and that I can send it off to the organizers. And I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because it's eight o'clock and of course I still need to edit this video. And it seemed like good timing last night in terms of finishing the filming at like eight o'clock. Takes me like two hours to edit these daily vlogs. Um, and then it'll be ready for you to see in the morning. Really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.